Let's start my presentation. My name is Takahiro Yamazaki. Uh, introduction. Aging society face more fracture due to bone fragility, characterized by reduced bone density and quality, especially evident in increased radial, uh, distal radius fracture among the elderly. As treatment for distal radius fractures, fractures option includes surgical intervention or cast immobilization. Custom immobilization. Historically, the wrist was positioned in maximum palmar ulnar flexion with the forearm in maximum pronation, known as the cotton loader position. However, this is now considered a poor position and is contraindicated due to its potential to cause contraction in the finger and wrist. In 1991, Gupta proposed cast immobilization with the wrist in dorsal flexion, tightening the palmar ligament and joint uh, capsule to stabilize the distal bone fragment. This approach has been reported as beneficial in numerous studies. Uh, what is the optimal degree of dorsal flexion? What are the impact of radial and ulnar deviation? A mechanical consensus on this aspect hasn't yet been reached. Purpose Using finite element analysis to explore the appropriate uh, cast immobilization position for distal radius fractures. Subject One fresh frozen cadaver and one vaporium. CT imaging was performed with the rest in various positions, neutral position, and Bora 15 degrees, 30 degrees, dorsal 50 degrees, and 30 degrees, uh, ulnar radial deviation neutral, and 10 degrees of radial deviation, 20 degrees, and 10 degrees ulnar deviation, and 20 degrees. Method Mechanical finder version 12 was used. For all cases, phantom were employed to calibrate CT values. Cartridge was replicated by enlarging the ROI of the carpal bones. Create a fracture model assuming a chorus fracture. Two 1mm thick plate were placed in a wedge shape on the radius, simulating the fracture site, with the palmar side in contact. Soft tissue ROI was obtained from actual image Soft tissue was extracted from the skin line. The ROI of soft tissue was expanded to create a cotton-like structure. The ROI was further expanded to represent a cast. The mesh was set at tetrahedral element of 1.5 to 5 mm. The material property of the bone used the conversion formula of Matsuyama from our laboratory. The material property of the cartridge uh, as per the slide. The material property of the fracture side is slide. The material property of the soft tissue uh, as per the slide. The material property of the cotton uh, as the per slide. The material property of the cast uh, as per the side. The cartilage of the carpal bone and the distal end of the radius was subjected to contact analysis. Additionally, contact analysis was conducted between the bone fragment at the fracture site. The proximal part of the radius and urna were fully constrained. For all the uh, metacarpal bones, a total axial load of 500 newton was applied. Consideration point. The strain at the fracture site, displacement, displacement of the distal bone fragment. This is a video of the bora fraction and dorsal fraction models. The D15 model have, uh, appeared to have the smallest strain. Both the minimum principal, minimum principal strain and the maximum principal strain were smallest in the D15 model. The displacement was smallest in the D15 model. This is a video of the radial and ulnar deviation models. 
the R10 model uh, appear to have the smallest strain. Both the minimum principal strain and the maximum principal strain were smallest in the R10 model. The displacement was smallest in the R20 model. Overview of finding. Dorsal flexion at 15 degrees showed the smallest amount in both displacement and strain. Radial deviation at 20 degrees have the least displacement. And radial deviation at 10 degrees has the smallest strain. Discussion. Gupta, no mention of the angle of dorsal flexion. Rajan et al., 15 degrees of dorsal flexion is favorable. Eric et al., 20 degrees of the dorsal flexion is favorable. In these studies, there is no comparison of different angle of dorsal flexion. As far as survey, there were no studies recommended the radial deviation position. The reason radial deviation may be beneficial in the context is thought to be because force was applied along the metacarpal axis and the ulnar head suppressed the displacement of the distal bone fragment. Limitation The analysis was based on a single case study. Not all angles uh, were covered in the study. The material property of the soft tissue and the fracture site are not actual values. Conclusion From the result of this study, it appears that the optimal cast immobilization position may be dorsal flexion at 15 degrees and radial deviation at 10 degrees. Thank you.